Today's a special day. It's the start of a new series called Trek Tip Tuesday or Thursday. It's where I break down, without crying, everything longboard. Before I get ahead of myself, Trek is a combination of trick and tech, which is Trek. Let's get into Trek Tip Zero. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan, and I'm not a professional, but I want you to try this at home. Trek tip zero is how to fix your thrash longboard. Step one is to thrash your longboard. Optionally, you can get someone else to thrash it for you. Once your board starts giving you splinters just from looking at it, like this, you've thrashed it enough, and you can move on to step two, which is getting some stuff to fix your board. You'll need wood glue, some wood filler, if I can find it. A clamp. A clamp. And a clamp. And another clamp. And maybe some chips off your old board that have fallen off. If you can find them. Step three is glue that thing back together. Fit your old pieces of board back on like a puzzle. Then glue it. Some gluing tips are, set the board on its edge with the side you want to glue facing upward so you don't get glue all over your table. And try to work the glue as far as possible into the layers, almost as if you're building the board again from scratch. Once you've re-laminated your board, you can grab a clamp to hold it in place while the glue dries. I prefer these clamps over these clamps, but as long as you have something to hold it together, you'll be all right. Make sure you don't run out of clamps. It's super awkward trying to hold a piece of wood together until it sets. But anyway, finish that up and let it dry overnight. The following day. Once the glue dries, it'll still look ugly, but I found my wood putty just in time for step four, which is cleaning the edges up and preventing any splinters from ruining your day. There's probably some better way to do this, but I just use my fingers because it works. It also feels like playing with Play-Doh. But anyway, Again, try to push it in as deep as possible. Also try to rebuild the shape of the board a little and smooth it out as best you can. Once you finish this up, you have to let it dry again. Then optionally, you can give it a quick pass of sanding with an old piece of grip tape, or you can just go out and skate it. Thank you for watching Trek Tip Zero, and please try this at home.